Hello my fellow hunters, in this video I'm gonna show you when the point when elemental switch X goes better than raw. But first I have some things that you have to note. The first thing is, please first, before you watch this video, watch my video with the top 5 elemental switch X cure builds, which has actually more than 7000 views. And if you want, you can check up this video. Uh, Safi Chiva versus Ah nee, sorry that was the wrong video. This video why Elemental Switch X is better than Raw. And now in this video we gonna uh, have a check up to the Elemental and draw its own values from the monsters. When here at kirinako.com you can check up all the hit zone values. And I wanna show you on which hit zones value on which Raw or Elemental. It zones value which type of elemental or raw build from switch X is better. First of all, I show you again the both sets I've used. This is a DPS set. We have 7 agitator, 7 attack boost, 100 critical skill, and we also have earplugs level 1 to get uh, earplugs level 5 during a zero sum discharge with, with a very good quality of life improvement and also power prolonger 3 and health boost. On the elemental set we have uh, Dragon Wayne Awakening, also agitator level 7, attack boost is only level 6 but we have also a 6 elemental attack and yes that's all the cure ribbons, they have critical eye on the weapon so that's very useful and the next point I have to tell you all the data I got is from several monsters here you can see the hit zones I checked that all up and first uh, I have to say that the quest defense modifier always is 100 so that's the most common quest defense modifier and the enrage modifier uh, every monster has a different enrage modifier. That means if your edgy tailor trigger uh, skill triggers, um, we have a higher EFR. But also, I just checked that that the values are always the same. You can see the enrage modifi modifier can go from 90% to 120%, but always I used 100% that it's easier to understand. Here I have made a table on an uh, internet site. First, in the first table, you can see the raw switch X builds, and all the values I have here are ticks from the zero sum discharge. And that ticks from the other builds, I use the thunder build, or the values from the zero sum discharge ticks or elemental switch X. So you can see all these values are just zero sum discharge ticks because zero sum discharge is the best combo for elemental uh, for elemental switch X. Why is that so? That's why uh, when you use zero sum discharge you got very much ticks, 12 ticks. That means uh, the elemental hit zone value is often triggered and you don't lose any sharpness. Elemental switch axes don't have such a good sharpness and we don't need um, monster touch or such things when we spam zero sum discharge or often use zero sum discharge so we don't lose sharpness. Uh, on the left side you have the raw hit zone values that goes up from 10 to 80 but most common hit zones, well, common hit zone values are between 30 and 60 or 30 and 50 and if they tenderized they may go up until to 60 or 70. They are the zero sum discharge ticks if you're using a raw DPS set. And all that other tables are filled with different elemental hit zone values. So in practice, uh, sorry, in, if you go to a hunt, the most common Elemental hit zone values are from 10 to 25 or 10 to 30. So here you can check all that elemental hit zone values, but I have made a sheet or a 
diagram to uh, so I made it easier to understand it. First of all, you have to check these things. The Enrage modifier is always one. You have an equipped and Kion switch X with critical element, and the data are only counting for the zero sum discharge ticks. So first of all, we have different colors. Yellow color is for a zero elemental hit zone value. Um, blue is for 10 elemental hit zone value. Green for 15 elemental hit zone value. Red for 20. Purple for 25. And gray is for a 30 elemental hit zone values. We have even higher elemental hit zone values. May they go up to 40 on Namiel's head, for instance. The Fire hits and value is 40, but um, I only use common element hits and values. And that red line is from a raw DPS set. Here at the bottom we have our hit zone values. Here we have a 10 hit zone value, here 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. And on the left side we have our ZSD ticks. So, first of all, it's very easy to say that if the elemental hit zone value is the elemental switch X is always better if the elemental hit zone value is more than 18. So you see on these three lines they are always above the line from the raw DPS set. So you can check it at Kirinako how good are the elemental hit zone values. And here are the points where it go a little bit difficult. So I have written if the elemental hit zone value is between 10 and 18, elemental switch X is only better when the monster is not tenderized. I told you in my last video that in general elemental switch X is always better if the hit zone values are not tenderized because so you can deal more elemental damage and yes. Now we come to a point where it's a little bit difficult. I have written raw is better when the raw hit zone value is more than 30 and the elemental hit zone value is less than 10. And second, if the raw hit zone value is better than 64, so if the monster is tenderized and the elemental hit zone value is lower than 15. But that's not so important, the two sentences. But I have said, but when the elemental hit zone value is lower than 15. Uh, in general, raw is better. So you, here you can check these points where the raw set deals more damage, but that point is not so important because, or not so unreliable, because we have seen that the uh, raw hit zone value is 65 and if you hunting a monster, having an elemental hit zone value is higher than 65 is most only the head. So if you only attacking the head and um, you're using a raw set and the elemental hit zone value is lower than 15, it's better to use a raw set. Yes. And th to the blue line, I have to say, so if the elemental hit zone value is 10, uh, it's only worth it using elemental switch X when the monster has bad raw hit zone values or if you're only attacking not tenderized parts. So this is the thing that you can take to your home and that's the most important sentence. Elemental is always better when elemental hit zone value is more than 18. Yes, and if elemental hit zone value is between 10 and 18, you can only use it when the pots are not tenderized. So now we can go to Kirinako and check up some hit zone values. For instance, the Sticky and Sinokura. So we have here our elemental hit zone values. So the most hit zone values are here you can see are 20 to 30. So we can say using a thunder elemental switch X is pretty good. Or we have Kirin. And Kirin, you can see the raw hits and values are extremely bad. They are only 18. And the fire elemental hits and value is 15. On this point, I can say elemental switch X is pretty, pretty much better. 